I wouldn't look so much as disruptors, but I would look more as to adapting. And so I think the disruptor will be that lawyers will adapt to the use of technology um, at a faster speed than they have before. And so what that will happen is that will be a major disruptor to lawyers, so that lawyers that don't adapt to what is going on are going to be majorly disrupted. So I mean, take a look at journalism, and I would say that the law and journalism are going down similar types of paths. So if we went back <coughs> 10, 12 years, if I were to talk to a publisher of a newspaper, and told them that they were susceptible to digital disruption, they might say, I'm not so sure. We'll see what happens. Um, then you would look at other publishers and they'd be accelerating the rate of what they're doing. Well, now how is that other publisher sitting today? They're, it's, they're sitting in a top position. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have a greater acceleration of the people that are using the technology that's available to them in the law, especially when you're in the business development and in the publishing space. And that's gonna be really, really disruptive to firms because now they're gonna sit there and say, well, how do we catch up? And when you're dealing with social media, you can't cram it. So you can cram SEO. Uh, in theory, you could go out and get links in the old days and you could build a body of content, but you can't build influence. And so we have, you know, what, what people do not perceive is we have a concept of machine learning taking place. So the more that you get out there and you offer insight and commentary on the law, the more people are going to share it, the more people are going to link to you, you're growing in influence. And Facebook knows that, LinkedIn knows it, Google knows it, Google Plus knows it, every social network knows it. So for those lawyers that don't go out and network online through the mediums that are available, it's going to be not just disrupting, it's going to be just totally unsettling to them. The world is going to change for them. You know, I think to be themselves. Um, everybody's afraid to be themselves. Um, and so <clears throat> you can, don't have to be yourself when you sit in your office and you communicate over just a telephone or over letters. Um, um, but you have to be yourself when you're out networking with people. And so those, those people that are willing to say, okay, here is my, here's my comfort zone, is this big? Well, now you're going to have to get out here. Because once you reach that dot out here, outside your comfort zone, your comfort zone is now out to here. And so that, that willingness and willingness to go out and do that, that challenge that they're going to have, those are going to be people that are successful in publishing online um, and networking online, any form of business development online. So be, be, be yourself. This is not complicated stuff. If it was about technology, everybody could do it. It's more about being a person and everybody, and as sad as it is to say, people have a huff, tough time being themselves. Everything. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> It, there's always something new, new coming, and I think what you have to stay focused on is, you know, what do I believe is important and what gets me up in the morning? Um, and if, if it's important enough that it gets me up in the morning and I have a clear path of what I want to do to help people get to there, um, that gets me through looking at these other things. Because there's always things that you turn on the internet and you go, oh my God, look what these people are doing and they have this money and they merged, they're partnering with this company and they're going to do this thing and you say, wait a second. Do they do, you know, when, for me, do they do what I do, what my company does, um, or are they doing something differently um, than, than I do? Um, we, there's, there's too much stuff to, to worry about it all the time. Um, you know, something can come up like LinkedIn publishing platform. Somebody writes, a <coughs> somebody writes a blog post that actually wrote a book on blogging the year before and says that blogging for lawyers is over, that LinkedIn publishing will be the new thing for blogging. And I'm, you know, at first I'm looking at it and saying it's a pretty powerful tool. I'm going, wait a second, would I send out my posts from LinkedIn publishing to clients, to the media? No, I'd want my own independent platform. Could I get people to, if I contacted somebody at, at, at Thomson Reuters and said, would you like to be a guest post on my LinkedIn publishing? They go, what are you talking about? No, that doesn't make any sense. So I got to have my independent platform. So for me, <clears throat> my number one goal is um, what can I do to help lawyers? They're challenged with the use of the internet. And not only in the United States, but internationally. And then those lawyers that are willing to give of themselves, how do I shine a light on them so that they'll continue to do that? And, it, and if I firmly believe that that's a value and our team is focused on that, I think we're okay. Um, but my God, you, there was a football player, an NFL football player, that I was riding to on the airplane, uh, riding to Minneapolis on the airplane. And I finally got to the point that we were talking about different stuff, and I said, yeah, but I worry about that. And he goes, you can worry about anything. I mean, who cares what you worry, what you worry about? You've got to move forward. So I'm probably known as the person that uh, uh, 
doesn't have any problem sleeping. Um, it's to save up the energy for the next day. Very occasionally, there'll be things that wake me up during the night, and I'll think about it. But those those are those are pretty small compared to uh, you know somebody that's getting shot at in a in a foxhole or getting taken prisoner by ISIS or something like that. These are these are small worries compared to things that are more important to people.